Holy heck, here we are, episode three of So Is It Any Goods Movie Podcast. Um, I'm your host, Ryan. This is Mick, Ben, and Jared. Hello. Today we're talking about worst remakes of all time. Let's get into it. So today we're talking remakes, but first I just want to find out what everyone's kind of like cinema etiquette was and, you know, how you sit in cinema, where you sit and... Was and is. Was, was is, and is now. Is. What do you, you know, yeah. Where do you sit in your cinema? Where do you, like, where do you go for... Do you hate people talking when you go to kids' films? Yes. Anything? Uh, I'm a back row kind of guy. Back row? Yeah. Back back, back row, though? Back back row. Oh, man, the projector I don't know noise. No, it Doesn't never bothers. Never, never bothers the noise. It's, yeah, man, you get the... <laughs> <laughs> and even if, <laughs> I've never and ever noticed the projector noise ever. Like, ever, 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 uh, ever. Uh, it's there. And I was like, it's, it's like, digital now, though. It's not even like... So it sounds like the Matrix now. Exactly. But I feel like I feel like if it's not if it's <laughs> like the internet in nineteen ninety six whispering all the time. <laughs> Follow the white rabbit. Isn't that also Follow where most of the rabbit. couples go? Or are they more flanked off to the Wake up. They're, they're in the, yeah, they're in the side the wings. The ones that go there just to make out. Oh yeah. 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 Just for a handy, yeah. They're I'll never sides. I won't understand. <laughs> uh, I hope I hope none of you are side cinema people. No, people oh, no. Sit no. on the edge. Yeah. The never buy choice. Sides. What's yeah. that? Oh. <clears throat> That's like the last resort. Like yeah. I said, I think I saw Avengers 3D in the very like side there, Oof. and it just completely ruined the 3D. Like, but I feel like that's a thing. Like you, you won't sit like that in the cinema, but you'll set up your entire home like that. Like I know heaps of people who've got their couches left to right of the TV, but they don't have nothing in the center. So yeah. you'll just sit off the corner, like looking like this the whole time at the TV. That's why just do weird. You, why yeah. do you? They're obviously not big TV people. Like they don't watch the kind of TV that we watch. I don't it's think they're the type of people that put smooth flow on their hundred hertz or something. Oh you know? yeah, motion oh. flow. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my law still has that on his TV. Every oh time my I go god. there, I was like, "What are you doing? Turn it, it off. Like, Turn it, it off." Looks great. I think it looks great. I think he does it to like piss me off. Like probably turns it off. <laughs> Makes knows it that I'm coming over and goes. Hey, Tracy, you reckon you can get that smooth flow on that TV? Oh. I don't know why they're British. We were talking about like the Smooth FM channel. No, yeah. <laughs> no, no. no. Like, the most, oh, there's people. An effect that makes the, the Godfather. Daryl Braithwaite. Oh. Makes, it makes the Godfather look like it was shot on VHS. Yeah, exactly. well, it looks like oh. the high school production of yeah. the Godfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's terrible. I, I would like to see a God high school production of Godfather. What would that be like? To <laughs> How would they do the head, the horse, uh, the fucking hell, the head of the horse? You could do it really well, I think. Yeah. You just, you just need a few squibs along the way. The sunny, the scene where Sonny gets shot to shit. <laughs> at, the, like, at the toll booth. I guess we've kind of seen it with Bugsy Malone, haven't we? Like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd probably do it that kind of way. Um, so where, cream where do you pies sit? And stuff. Oh, we just said that. Uh, <coughs> middle, middle, back. So not all, maybe three quarters of the way back. Cool. As long as it's not like IMAX, because then IMAX is what you said, back row. Mm. Is it any closer. And it's just like there's, it's too much. There's like four seats in IMAX that are good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Basically. Otherwise you just don't bother. Yeah. It's like it's sold out. Yeah. It's not sold out. It's <laughs> yeah. like, there's like, hundreds of seats of <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's, it's like, out. You don't understand, honey. Yeah. yeah. What's like the most annoying thing that's happened to you? Like while you're watching a movie? Or like the the worst experience for a cinema? I, I, I think it was we I went and saw like a very wanky film, it's Tree of Life, which is a uh, Terrence Malick film, in like very small <laughs> art house cinema. Where every noise just you can hear like someone opening like a packet of crisps <laughs> or whatever. There's a woman two seats oh, down from me that was laughing through the whole thing. It's not a funny film at all. Mm. She's just like chuckling away. It's like, oh, yeah, I used to do that when I was a kid. It's just like making little comments like yeah, that. Yeah. It's just it's a very heavy film though, and it's just not the kind of film that you that you. But she did it through the entire film, and I remember in Twelve Years a Slave, it's just the scene where she's getting whipped, and everyone's just cringing in the audience because it's like. <laughs> Oh god! I hope this doesn't go for much longer. And it went for a long time. And this, this guy is trying to open his coke, oh. then, but he waited. It was the moment when the music kind of cut out, and it was really quiet. And oh. <laughs> it's just kidding. Like, you, you try and uh, yeah, go time in time it, with time the whip it to noise. a whip crack. Yeah, you would think so. Oh. Just, I like the people alone. that take really long time to, to open up the next packets. Surrounds me. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> it's hard, man. It feels like it's hitting me. It's, it's amazing. The damn chips. It's, it's a skill to open and back Maltesers in the dark without losing any along the way. How you about know? you, Mick? Where do you sit? Yeah, three quarters to the back and in the center. I kind of I don't like being at the I front. I don't that. like I like to be able to see the screen at eye level. Yep. Not, not tilted back. Yep. Um. So yeah, towards the back. Not the not the back row generally, but you know. Okay. You sort of run the risk of being <laughs> close to the. <laughs> I'm guessing Ryan thinks differently. Now I'm going to tell you why you're all wrong. <laughs> 
No, well, I mean, yes, but no. But uh, look, uh, the reason why I, reason why I bring it up because I, oh, you guys are always telling me that I'm really weird where I like to sit in cinemas, and everyone everyone tells me, but everyone not, that sits not, where I sit, you're not weird. You're just pedantic. Well, you're retentive pedantic. They're yeah, similar things. Anyway, uh, so I like to sit. There's a specific spot I like to go for, and it's usually in the cinemas in Australia. I don't know how they are in the rest of the world, but in Australia. So I know how they are in Hawaii and they're terrible. Never go to a cinema in Hawaii. Anyway, point being... Uh, <laughs> we just lost the Hawaiians. We're, we're gradually losing everyone. Oh, man. You know, you have to... Just, just on a tangent. While I was in Thailand, saw a couple of movies. I don't know why I do these things. I go away on holidays in you like freaking resorts and, and all this kind of stuff. I'm like, fuck it, let's go see a movie. Anyway, so I saw three movies while I was at Thailand. While I was in Thailand... Every movie you're in Thailand, you have to stand yeah. for the national anthem yeah, in yeah. the time. Like wow. they do a national anthem for the king and this big king picture comes up. And you're like, the first time I was just like, the fuck is everyone doing? Why are you standing up? The fuck? Genius. And then, yeah, the whole thing, you have to stand up. Everyone's got their hands on their hearts. That's I don't amazing. know if the hands and hearts happen, but you know, so basically. Did you stand You were just up? being punked. I had to. Yeah. You know, you're the frowned upon you if you didn't. you fucking arrested. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thailand Joey doesn't peed. stand. No, exactly. he would have stood. Exactly. Did you just uh, call them the Thailand Dish Police? <laughs> <laughs> be, you know, and we just lost Thailand. <laughs> 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 anyway, yeah, that, I thought that was pretty crazy. Just I wasn't expecting all, that the first all the time tropical but, um, islands we're losing. Yeah, yeah, anyway, but point, but I keep going off tangents in this bloody yeah. show. That's a, mm. We should call it the tangents. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we should call it, the tangents podcast. The tangent so universe. is it any tangents? So is it any tangents? The podcast. Anyway, sorry. Early theme song. Um... Yeah, so what, where I sit particularly is in Australia, we have usually the walkway in the direct middle of the cinema. So there's like the front row section that has about five or six rows, and then there's the back section that has about 15. And so if you sit in the front section, but the back row of the front section, you're about five rows from the back of the front section. Um, but your vision... I'm sorry, I think I just passed oh, out. Oh, man. <laughs> I need, like, an animation. If you can get an animation of, like, can we have a fly-through, please? A digital fly-through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Back row of the front section. Back row yeah. of the front section. That's right. what I'm saying. Right. Uh, if you sit there, then you're basically... You're in a pretty good eye level, so you're looking straight at the screen. Or sometimes, in some cinemas, depending on what cinemas you go to, I've nailed this one at Castle, Castle Hills, VMAX, and, um, you know, Parramatta's got a pretty good, and Blacktown and Chatswood's even pretty good. But anyway, point being, if you sit in those kind of seats... Um, you're pretty much eye level and you have the entire cinema filling your eyes. So even when you're looking over like this, the cinema's kind of like the screen is still here and here. Anyway, here is nothing. So my thoughts on that basis is if you sit further back, then that starts to becoming like this, 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 this. And then you're getting all these speakers, all these curtains and stuff like that. So the, the screen is filling your eyes. It's getting the biggest cinema, cinema experience you can get from that screen. And then you've got all the speakers set up. So the speakers are set up. There's usually three in the front. Um, and then there's about six on the sides and then depending on what ones you're at the Atmos ones have like four on the top of you and all that kind of stuff and if you sit in that kind of area then you're in the middle of kind of like the sound section so usually you get pretty damn good sound and it's also the loudest because the front section you know it's turned up for the front kind of thing because it's the sound is balanced for the back kind of area anyway so the front section is also the loudest. Get <laughs> the highest cinema quality. This is so expensive. I'm going to finish it. Fuck you. Right, I'm going to finish on this. Yeah, Just I could. Scientific. The giant thesis. There is a of download there is this in the show notes with full schematics. Fuck you. All right. And so the point of the matter is, seat sit in those yeah. seats if you go and you'll get if you go the best into the show notes, experience you'll you will get a full, full blueprint. Because it's amazing. And because everything is as loud as it possibly can be. The cinema is like you fill your eyes completely. And it's amazing. And the 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 other best part about it is that no one else sits there. So you almost feel like you have the cinema to yourself because you can't hear anybody around you and none of that shit that I was just, you guys were just talking about. People opening up their fucking chip packets and kids talking and other dickheads bloody jerking off to each other. They're not there. They're not there. It's just you, uh, a mate your of missus, my, A mate of mine out. once got a, a, lovely, a lovely little wristy. Uh, what? While wearing parallel. <laughs> that turned around quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A lovely little wristy. <laughs> what's another, what's another way of saying wristy without sounding like? Because people are like, got a hand job. Is. You got a hand job. Even that. A like, wristy. I say, yeah. Well, I got it. A mate of mine once got. <laughs> no, I, I go with wristy. I think it's great. <laughs> Um, a mate of mine once got pleasured uh, wearing, pa <laughs> <laughs> wearing parachute pants in a cinema, and you know how loud parachute pants are. Yeah. Like it's going, it's going on, it's going on the background. It's, 
it's going on in the background. Everyone can hear it. And, and it's not even that packed to cinema. There's like oh, probably no. three or four people in there. Amazing. Oh, so, no. you know. So when they hear the swishing stop, was there a little round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't remember what the movie was, though. But, um, oh, it was you. Oh, it was you. Yeah. Oh, you know, well, a mate of mine. So but I can't yeah. remember it's a, it's a warning. a friend of a friend of mine it's, who actually was me. It's a, it's a warning to Why everyone. Why were you wearing parachute pants? <laughs> I don't wear parachute mm-hmm. pants. The I can even fans. I it's feel like, like naming the guy right any, now. Any more. He doesn't wear it anymore. <laughs> no. As I said, country. This is yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. to do. Um, yeah. um, that's weird. <laughs> was that fighting as well? Well, that was that was parachute pants. That was right? more corduroy. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's it's more of like or a, or a zipper. All right. Fine. All right. Um, yeah, so that's where I would suggest seeing. Just try it out. Try it. Give it a go. Give it a go. Um, just don't take my spot and don't bring your kids. Made, you've made me and what, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> on, on this note, on this it's note, can I loud. just just because I've never seen a movie with you guys? At what point and have you ever reached breaking point where people are doing something that's fucking the movie up for you? Like they're on their phone or they're in front of you and in your eye line and they're on Facebook and the lights in your eyes or someone's talking. Have you ever had to actually be that guy? That goes, yes, a couple of times. And how do you handle it? Well, look. <clears throat> When it comes to me, everyone knows that I'll say how I feel straight away. Yeah. But I also don't want people to and, hate me. And not so. <laughs> so I will very much go, hey, see, mate, can you shut the fuck up? This is just this is a really good movie. movie. I'm trying to watch it. And then I'd leave you alone for about two minutes. And then I'd probably be like, mate, sorry about that. Sorry. Are you right? Is it cool? <laughs> and then I'd sit back again and watch the film. And that's why I usually handle it. I get really apologetic about it. And I feel bad that I've hurt their feelings. Because right. they were just wanted to talk in the film. But fuck those guys for being, talking in the film. But... I don't understand why people do that. Why? Why do people well, spend twenty two dollars to, yeah, to then, play on their not, phone? They're not. You, they can't differentiate that from their lounge room. I think like that's. They don't see. It's a yeah. You view it in public. You enjoy it with like an audience, but there's a difference between laughing at something that's happening on screen. They should block the Wi Fi signal or the four G signal in. Yeah, yeah I've had like problems with um, the Alama Draft House in uh, Austin. That um. You know, they take they put on those big advertisements to start and get famous people to say it. Then you know, don't don't have your phone on, or we're gonna you know, keep, take you out. Of the didn't cinema. they keep people out? Yeah, they keep people out. Exactly right. They get people in. That's great. And you're done. Um, and what I was gonna say with my worst cinematic experience was cinematic. Worst cinema experience was um was Avengers. Um, the first Avengers film I saw that at the midnight screening at um at Hornsby, I believe it was. Um, Hornsby or Chatswood, one of them. If you're this person, you know, watch your back. I'm not going to do anything. But oh, watch I might back. have been at that same screening, man. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I would have known Okay, you what then. happened? Yeah. I would have known I remember you. I was off ben, to the side. Ben was wearing parachute pants. <laughs> 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 I can hear this rushing sound. <laughs> that was a cinema, right? Yeah, 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 I did hear least, that. I, I can't remember what the film was. but it I'm was sure that you can get away with more now with those three glasses. Anyway. Yeah, probably. I think you can get away with a lot of things in cinemas these days. Because the movies are really loud and the sound's amazing, usually. You know, unless you get a crappy cinema that's turned down. But my point is, the guy in front of us was with his girlfriend, and his girlfriend clearly hadn't seen the rest of the cinematic cinematic universe of Marvel. And every time a character came onto the screen, he would just lean over to her and go, that's Tony Stark. <laughs> he is Iron Man. And look, he has a friend called Rhodey. Um, you know, he, he might not be in this bit, but he, he's going to come up. And then the next bit will come up. Yeah, that's Captain America. That's Steve Rogers. You know, he's got super strength. Throws a shield. Pretty cool. Next thing would happen, you know, that's freaking like it would go on the whole bloody thing. And I was just like leaning, like kicking his chair kind of thing, like nudging him, kind of like, you were kicking shut his up. chair. Well, because he's in front of me to the ear. So I just like, you know, anytime it kind of happened, I was just like, not like, not like, you know, double kick that he's going to fly out of the seat. Just kind of like, you know, little yeah. straight yeah. up. Straight you know? in there. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, that happened and that That's ruined terrible. that movie for me because it's a midnight screening. Like, and no one said fans shit. Fans should be going to this this shit. Like, well, I think Ryan must have been the only person able to hear. No, it was all like, of my friends was, was had seen it. Uh, sorry, had were hearing it, but it weren't, they weren't bothered by it. But yeah. I was. I'm trying livid. to pay attention to this film because it's yeah. like it's that's annoying. It's almost yeah, like you're a getting Star like Wars a, you're getting an audio like, commentary that you never asked is, for. Yeah, exactly. This this is the first time this thing's happened. They've brought together all my favorite superheroes in one massive movie, and this is the shit. And I got ruined by this little dweeb and his girlfriend. And I'll never get that cinematic experience of that. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, yeah, so that was probably my worst. And that's pretty, pretty annoying. I have an embarrassing one, but I don't, I don't want to tell that. Oh, yeah. yeah tell us you're embarrassing. That's, that's why we're here. <laughs> what else are we oh, going to talk about? I don't know if it was movies? embarrassing. Um, oh, when I was a kid, I used to go to movies by myself. Um, didn't have any friends. No, no. Um, <laughs> my parents used to leave me at the cinemas every... Saturday morning, um, and I was pretty young, so this was. And you kept finding your way back home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> this motherfucker. 
Um, this one was good. This one was good. It was um, it was Judge Dredd, 1995, I believe. So it would have made me nine years old. Wow. How the Probably hell were my parents leaving yeah. me? But that wasn't the first one because I remember seeing Champions and Mighty Ducks 2 and they were earlier than um, Judge Dredd 2. I, I judged, sorry, Judge Dredd, I believe. Anyway. They're, they're PG films though. Judge Dredd is not a PG film. Well, because they weren't, it was an M-rated film. So, you know, they didn't, it doesn't was matter. Was it not an MA? A film? No, 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 not at all. I wouldn't have been able to get in if it was MA. Sam. American American people are like, what the fuck is MA? <laughs> Should we explain <laughs> that? Talking about? Yeah, get, get the internet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like our version of R. Yeah, exactly. Um, and and yeah, so this M film, you know, Judge Dredd, going to see it by myself, um, as I do. And it gets to about halfway to the movie and I really need to go to the toilet at this point. I'm trying to sit through the scene because it's all action packed. I'm doing these kind of things, sitting there going, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. And I was like, fuck it, I can't do it. And so I run as fast as I can to the toilet. And it's bloody pretty close. The toilet's like, here's a session, there's a toilet. It's like, run out, I can get there. Get there, bust open the door, <laughs> get to the toilet, flip up the toilet thing. I'm like, I've got this. And then I couldn't undo my pants. <laughs> and oh. then I, I went my pants inside that stall and that was probably the most embarrassing thing but it was the 90s no one saw you do it though right? no one saw me do it but the good thing about it was what I knew I knew I'd wet my pants <laughs> and it, you wet but your it pants. was the it's... 90s I'm dying to know what line comes after that it was the 90s Don't and it you. was the moment of Kepa pants you remember Kepa or mm-hmm. Kepa Kepa yeah Kepa anyway I had yellow pants on so it was alright <laughs> it was alright I had the backup of yellow pants but uh, I did wet them and it was embarrassing <laughs> And did you go back to the rest and see the rest of the movie? I did. I did. <laughs> the, the smell would have been oh, unreal. I did, I did oh. go back in there and watch the rest of that film. And I do remember being quite wet doing it. But that's oh. all right. It was a good time. Sorry, wow. Castle Hill event cinemas. Um, so this episode's about remakes. Um, <laughs> 20, 21 minutes in. Yeah, this episode's about so, remakes. So, so the rest of this episode is about remakes. Exactly. So yeah. I just wanted to find out what, you know, what... Um, what remake do you what what sorry what film do you think should be remade? Um, and you know we're getting a lot of remakes happening, a lot of reboots of franchises, a lot of movies coming back. And I just think there's a lot of movies from the '80s and almost the '70s, maybe even earlier than that, that didn't really have a first. You know, the first film wasn't as good as it could have been, and I think that could be rebooted now with this kind of you know evolution of filmmaking and stuff. I just wanted to see if any of you guys had any ideas for films to be remade. Well, I think that's the issue with remakes now. They don't make, they don't remake those movies that could be remade. They remake the classics. Oh, of course, because they've got more Im- Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, of course. Say that again. Yeah, of course. Because, but because they've got brand recognition, they're all about um, franchises and um, continuing IP. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's not about making a film better anymore. It's about squeezing as much money out of it. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Well, I, I something that I would like to see. Not so much remade, I guess, but made into a film would be Battle of the Planets or G Force. Oh yeah, 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 yeah G Force. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be. I think that'd Obviously be. Get that confused with Voltron, but I, I'm, it's I'm aware of it. It's a similar era, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. It was the, the big blue spaceship, and then the five people that had, you know, the different coloured costumes. They had and, awesome costumes. Yeah, and then it'd be a dude in a buggy, a guy in a racing car, and someone in a jet, and they had all these signature character traits and stuff like that. So it was kind of like, you know, that Voltron vibe. A lot of stuff in the early eighties and cartoons. Surprised it hasn't happened. That and like yeah. Robotech and stuff. Yeah, that could have happened yeah. Hasn't. I think Battle of the Planets would be good, but I think a remake of something even as recent as it is, would be, and it's along the same lines, is Transformers. I just, I really don't like what ended up happening to Transformers from something that was only, you know, envisaged <clears throat> in the early 80s or whatever it was. And I think what the movies ended up being compared to what, you know, growing up in like the cartoons were, when I first heard a movie was coming, I'm thinking, great, I, I loved this as a kid. Yeah, yeah. First movie I had a lot of fun. In. I thought the first movie was okay, but then I just think it just got way too complex and the character design... And the amount of shit going on on the screen. It was like, I described it like if someone got on a trampoline and emptied a toolbox of sitcom <laughs> spanners and and, the, and it's just all going through the frame. Like, so much shit going on. Yeah, in the yeah, no, I agree. I think just, just streamline the design of it, make the, bring, strip back the characters to be simple and iconic. They all kind of look the same. Once yep. they're un, unraveled the Decepticons into a robot, it's just cogs and pistons and shit going everywhere and you can't even make out their face. I think... Yeah. Transformers are big, worth rebooting. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, the non Bayhem version. Unfortunately, the, the people that made that then went on to do like Ninja Turtles, and mm-hmm. it's like that. And ruined that franchise. They get, they're looking, they're look like what you, your suggestion, they're probably looking at that now and going, we'll do this the same way we did Transformers and Turtles. And 
that's they'll apply that same mm, that mm. same framework to all those kind of kids from our child those things from our childhood. Yeah, they've kind of. I gone feel back like they ranked. almost thought that um, that number four was a remake in a way because when they brought Mark Wahlberg into it, they've new set of characters. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they've kind of seen yeah. it as almost like a fresh start for the Transformers but series, they, and unfortunately, they kept Michael Bay in the same design yeah. and everything just looked shittier. Like they've they've kind of made it closer to the cartoon with the way they look like the streamlined the look I they're not as it's not it's not great it's not great Mark Wahlberg's mediocre in it if anyone's good enough, I thought it was TJ Miller but they killed him off in the first like 20 minutes so anyway mm. um, yeah no I agree I agree Transformers needs to be redone needs to be redone closer to the G1 kind of generation the first mm. I'm getting a bit nerdy but uh, the first series of Transformers a bit more blocky a bit more yeah they don't look like cars anymore yeah it's just like they just a, look like the whole idea was shards of metal cool yeah, yeah vehicles yeah. that could then be robots we just don't see that side of it and it's, no. i don't know mm. it's lost yeah, they're it's not pretty, so much robots pretty far anymore. they're too. just like i'm just a robot they're just, just they're just giant robots and the only like shots you see them in cars were you know those long spanning like um you know shots with all like 20 cars or yeah, kind of like yeah convoying around like spindly roads and stuff like that i want to see them like use their freaking car to like bash into someone like you got the touch style burst out of you know transformation blowing people's heads off yeah it'd be like that uh, that cartoon overhead view of like the yeah. three decepticon jets in formation and the, the cars down below and then they're sort of you know yeah, exactly, battling exactly. Out. not as robots yeah yeah people. i think the first one kind of did that stuff like there was a there was a lot of that but then the rest of them they never <clears> used <throat> any of their transformers things anyway yeah. what about you ben well, the stuff that I was kind of always, I always bang on about is actually being done because I always thought the high concept stuff, slow like the Warriors, which is a huge favorite of mine. Which I was surprised by, by the way. That film like has a like? big, it has a big world like within that. that yeah, film yeah, actually yeah. Has oh a massive God, world. Absolutely. And that film didn't really. There was a lot of potential there, and they never really went beyond that. But now it's being made into a TV show, which is perfect. And it's the same thing with Westworld. Like that, that's a that concept is cool the original film's okay but obviously it's based on a, on a book so that yeah. story itself lends itself to a bigger story and that's being made into a tv show so it's like these ideas that they they look at it and they go instead of making this into like one film let's tell this as a bigger story i think that's really cool that that's now going over into tv yeah and they could maybe that reboot that you're talking about maybe that would be better served as a like mm. as a new series but perhaps yeah, that's interesting but um, yeah, as as a general rule, I think remakes are just it's not a fan not of. a massive. I mean, especially yeah. in the horror genre. But there's been very few decent horror. Rec- I didn't mind the Evil Dead remake they did, but there's there's so many of like most of them are just terrible, yeah. and they're made by people that don't. They, it's like they're not trying. Yeah, uh, like they're not necessarily trying. They're, they're just redoing the first one. Yeah, they're doing it. They're, they're doing they're it because they, they can, I suppose. Yeah. Um, um, but there's no nothing that. Apart from those two, there's nothing that really springs to mind of stuff that I really, really want them to remake. I always just, just would much prefer original, like original ideas coming yeah, out cool. of Hollywood. Um, one thing I'd like them to do with with Warriors would be like, give each gang an episode, like make them just have a full episode each. So the Baseball Furies would have just one yeah. episode, and then like maybe the last episode they could just fucking have a Royal Rumble kind of thing. Like, yeah. Maybe not to that extent, but like I think they, they might they, might do something like that along those lines. Yeah, but yeah they'll still make cool. the Warriors like the centerpiece, probably. Yeah, obviously, but obviously, then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll get to know give them each some of kind them. of run in with that particular team, but like a whole episode for yeah, it would be yeah. cool. Building up to some um, sort of as long as they keep now. that that cool seventies like funky soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, kind of intact. I think. It'll yeah, be, it'll are they really going cool. to though? Are they going to monitize it? I, I think know. they went are down they like gonna, a get down kind of feel. They're going to post they the apocalyptic the hell out of it. Or? Well, it's funny because the get down actually reminds me a lot. There's scenes in that that do yeah, feel Yeah, definitely. Like, definitely. Like that, it's so. also got that almost like cheese ball. So maybe it's like with should, the ninja. The, yeah, yeah. Um, so maybe they should get Nas to, to, to do the soundtrack for that as well. Yeah, that'd be cool. Some cool collaborators for the get down. Uh, what about you, Jared? Nothing springs to mind. I, I would prefer. Goonies. No, they should never do it. I'm joking. Get out. That's one of the all time favorite never. films, right? Get out. Yeah. yeah me too. Never. Yeah. Never. Um, never say die. No, I don't know. Nothing really springs to mind. I would just wish that, that if they are set on remaking stuff, they would choose stuff like Westworld that is that the movie did, probably didn't hit the heights that it should have, or, right. or the technology wasn't there to fully explore the idea enough and. Yeah, but I can't. Nothing comes. I mean, they're to kind me. of doing that. I mean, Flash, Flash Gordon is that? That's getting. Um, is that a TV series as well? 
I'm not sure I did read something about that happening though. And that doesn't surprise me either because that was a camp for a camp film yeah. mm. that could be done. I mean, in the, in the in the superhero realm, they could probably remake the Phantom. Oh, yes, yeah, the Phantom. Yeah, yeah. That was the Shadow. Insane. The Shadow, yeah. maybe. Even the I Shadow. didn't mind the Shadow when I was a kid, yeah. but... The Shadow is basically probably. Batman, though. Like, it's... Yeah, Batman with, it's like, not, mind control and shit. It's not much... Maybe, maybe that's... You could do another Dick Tracy. No. We can never do another Dick Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like them see... Sorry, I'd like them... I'd, sorry, them. I'd like to see them uh, remake... Um, the the last them. Starfighter. I'd like to see. I'd like to see them. Hollywood. Yeah. I'd like to see Hollywood give another chance to the last Starfighter. I think that film. Or Flight of the Navigator. Or Flight of the Navigator. But um, Last Starfighter, I really feel like has a lot of things that would work really well now. Like you know, make instead of making an arcade game, make it. I mean, it's gonna be a bit shitter, but like making an iPad app or something like that, where yeah. you know you've, you've downloaded this app and then you know that's actually the you know the same same sort of thing. It's the, the entry to thing. The, yeah, the like, entry yeah. to. The yeah. you could do the same with war games, I guess. True, true, true. Um, but I think that film, like, I it could have had a bit more of a franchise or a bit more to it. I think it was kind of like the first film, you know, in a in a franchise or you know whatever. It could have had many films after, it, but it was only just that one film. And kind maybe of like they put, off, maybe put off by Tron Legacy not mm. doing as well as they would have hoped. Even though it made like for a little while there, that it was going to get a sequel, but then they. I think they were they, they were kind of on the right track with that though because they didn't just remake the first one. I think no, that's, that that I th- was that was at least they continued the story. Yeah, like, that was, that's to be admired. I, th- I think it's I think the the trap that they fall into and why we hate most remakes is because they're just a carbon copy of the original. Right. So so why are we watching the movie again? Yeah, the the effects might be better. Yeah. Uh, and there might be more recognizable people in it, but why are we watching the same exact story again? And it comes yeah. along at a, at a different time in your life as well, and I think that the remake, as you said, I'm, I'm with you. I think just we, we can kind of get past it, but you can see why they're doing it for this cash cow of new generations trying to capture that audience. If for us to what rewatch something that was made for us as a kid, it's kind of like you you might be a big fan of it, but at the time, it's such a different time in your life that you're yeah. seeing it, and then you're seeing it the familiar story just done differently with different actors. It's kind yeah. of a, I don't know. I find it a bizarre experience sometimes. And they've and they've seen this year that it, the, like the new audiences don't care. Like yeah. all of those movies or every mm. reboot has fallen on its ass. It's like when we, we, I was going to talk about The Fly before, and The Fly was a remake, and you can sort of I saw that as a kid, found it really scary. But it, you can see the dif- distance between the first one was in black and white. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got color. You can see that there's a whole different generation that are going to you know probably not have even heard of the first yeah. one yeah, probably definitely. the same with these new ones as well, well that's like, a good that's a good example of you know a good remake yeah, yeah, which I, remake, I don't yeah. know if we're going to talk about well what do you think your worst remake Sixers. is worst remake yeah the worst remake worst <coughs> remake of all time what's the uh, uh, man, most the, hated remake other than Psycho re- I'm going to take Psycho out of uh, the Psycho out of the bandwagon here because yeah. I feel like that was just like an unnecessary shot for shot mm, remake that mm, just didn't why? need to happen I don't know well, what's your f- worst remake um Definitely Total Recall. Total Recall was a piece of shit. Um, <laughs> basically, they, they took out everything that was good about that movie. I mean, minus Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's probably my all-time favorite actor. Not really an actor, but let's just make a actor. point of this. Yeah, exactly. Actor. But, I mean, he's good in some films. But anyway. Um, he's a personality. He's fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, he's the most quotable man of all time. Anyway, you take out Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then you're left with everything like the mutants, Mars, um, not knowing if the storyline actually happens and, you know, not if it's it's all a dream or whatever. And that film literally took out all those things and squashed it. Like, there was no Mars, there's no mutants, and the film at the end tells you that it was all a dream. Like, that none of it actually happened, where I think the original kind of left you guessing. Like, it was almost like, did that happen? Like, was, you know, was this all his dream? Everything we got told to him prior, like the blue sky, the, um, the air on Mars and stuff like that. But then this film was just like, Nah, it, it just didn't happen. Whatever. Whatever. They've, they've um, taken all the ambiguity, 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 ambiguity out of yeah, exactly. movies yeah, because ambiguity. they think yeah, yeah. that um, People audiences are stupid. So. Yeah, I feel like that happened because I blame um, Donnie Darko on that one for some reason. Well, because like, you know, like Donnie Darko came out, no one really understood it. Then they were like, you know, we've got this director's cut that kind of explains it a bit better. Maybe we should release this one. They got re-released in cinemas. Because like, the first one, a lot of places went straight to video. And so when it got re-released, it went straight back to um, cinemas. And then, 
you know, it was kind of like the dumbed down version one of the Scott. And I know Scott was on a prior episode. He quite likes that episode. He likes it more than the original. Um, but anyway, point being is that, yeah, I, I agree with you that, that they think audiences are too dumb to understand these films. And that's why I think a lot of those movies either go direct to video or, yeah, they never go to cinematic release or cinema release. Sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, so my most hated is Total Recall. But, yeah. Sorry, I just, I was thinking about it and I've locked onto it because I was talking earlier about horror, the horror genre. But I, I think that Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake is... is the original is, one? The, like the, sorry, the original the remake. Michael, so like, this is the Michael Bay I know, but there's been like three remake. remakes of that remake now. Like there's like the... I know, and they're all bad. Like that, <laughs> that would be a tie with the Halloween... Like with Rob With the Rob Zombie oh, Halloween remake. Yeah, I didn't like well. that at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah like though, what did you like about Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Tell it me. It was just like way... It had Michael Bay all over it. Yeah, like it totally it just, did. He doesn't, he doesn't belong in that. It wasn't made by someone. It's clear that it wasn't made by someone who like understands the genre right and actually that's the one that i remember because we have a, a famous critic here in australia margaret pomeranz and it's like one of the few movies she's walked out of wow and that, I didn't know that. if i think i don't know if it's the gore part of it but i'm not a fan of the um of that hostel kind of like the gornography right I think is what they call it because i think that was the way they scare you yeah, might have been before hostel, actually no yeah. no i think i think it was after uh, maybe I don't know. I think Similar to a reference maybe. check. But, Can you but, check that out for us, guy behind the camera? Great, thank you. But tone wise, I think it was, yeah, I think it was similar to Hostel and that. And then it's kind of like, that's not the horror that I kind of like. It's it's more of like the the subtle, the subtle horror that I like. Not right. That it, it's sort of it's it's like violent and it's you know it's disturbing on one level, but I don't know. I much prefer the suspense and the Halloween one in particular. Like the original Halloween, that, yeah, it's yeah. so old now, but that simple. Sc- simple piano score and all the little um beats in there are still scary like today i completely agree i, uh, I think i think that would almost be yeah my second most but i know remake. i know that there are like, and they tried to tell you way too much about i Michael gotta Myers. I don't give a shit who michael yeah. Myers is like i didn't need to you know, yeah. went to the psychiatric world like you already knew that like yeah. he's breaking out of it yeah. i don't even know why he was there i know I why he was there he's his sister i don't want to see him as a yeah, kid i don't care yeah. i don't care but um, I know I know that, that that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre actually does have fans out there like that version. I quite like it. Like yeah. I'm I'm quite a which fan is, of it. I have a mask fun. of that movie in in my collection here. Yeah. Um, but like I like it for different reasons. I think that was almost like a a welcome back to that, that when that came out. I was roughly around the time where I could start going to see those horror movies by myself at the cinema kind of thing, or you know yeah. with certain someone or whatever yeah. um, so I enjoy those movies a lot but maybe, maybe I, I have a you, particular like disliking because it kicked off that new wave of horror remakes right. that's continued like he, he, he had a new product he created a production company that was just going to look something after Dunes, Platinum Dunes believe. yeah and then obviously Sam Raimi had the Ghost House I think yeah. it was called and as great as Sam Raimi is like you know some of those some of those ones that were released under that that banner were pretty bad yeah yeah um, and I think everything, all the classics have been remade now. I think. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're actually the remaking them. them again. Mm. Like oh, Friday yeah. the Thirteenth, about to be remade again. Yeah. I try. Yeah. I did. I didn't even get through the Poltergeist remake. No, I, I mean, just got... and a lot of them have good casts, but you know, it's it's just yeah. just get that money. You Carrie know? was terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? What's your most hated? J Bones, J Bread. I don't know. Jay I don't know if I have a most hated rate. Oh, what comedy was, one? What was comedy? one that you went to the cinema and you just went, get fucked. Ah, like, that was my, like, Total Recall, I remember walking out thinking I just wanted mm. my money back. I wanted, yeah, I, was, I wanted every, even the memory of that movie taken out of my head. Like, yeah. just like his, <laughs> you know, his stuff. I wanted to be I'm sure plenty brainwashed of and <clears throat> turn my mind to mush. Yeah, I couldn't um, think of one that I hated no. particularly, just as a general thing. But I mean, there's ones that have been announced that are coming up in this wave of remakes that we're getting and, I was surprised that they were going to remake Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, but I heard they're going to remake that, which is this... Yeah, with a female cast. With Rebel Wilson. Right, yeah, Rebel so Wilson, it's, yeah. it's so iconic. Probably like, Anna Kendrick, I would say. They haven't cast on that side, but I would But at least, it. yeah, they're flipping it, and they're doing that with a few films, they're doing the, the gender, gender, gender switch. But gender it's not a remake. Let it, um, they're, they're great actors, and, and they're funny. Yeah. Like, why not just give them their own movie? Yeah, agree. Like, yeah, yeah, why yeah. does it have to be this... 
Yeah. Well, it's going to be a remake of Steve Martin. You're you're already attached to that character. It's still yeah. it's still one of those movies that if it's on today, you'll watch and laugh yourself silly at. You know, it's just kind of like say I've seen that movie more than once. Oh really? It's yeah. great. I know. I, I I agree, but like it's not one of those movies I probably would. Watch. And that's what I I, it's no, one of, I feel, feel like it's a niche comedy yeah. thing that right. that people are really passionate about. Yeah. Which again surprised me that it was going to be this this broad sort of remake, mm-hmm. yeah. and for two reasons. Yeah. The other one is that why why put these this cast, give them their own movie that's got a similar premise, but don't call it the same yeah. thing yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're going to just get this fan backlash and all this bullshit that Ghostbusters went through and it, it could just be its own thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, I suppose, what's the other one? Ocean's Eleven they're doing? Yeah, a female female, female Ocean's, Ocean's that, yeah. Ocho. And the um, <coughs> Expendables, female Expendables. Expendables. Yeah, Expendables, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Oh, God. Huh. It's terrible. Well, well, it's, funny, it's funny that in, in this that age where we're going, yeah. we've got... It's it's almost like we're going to have boy and girl movies yeah. now. Is that how it's going to be? It's like, here's the so girl's version. Here's the one that's pink. And here's the one that's blue. So yeah. the boys, you can watch this Jennifer one. Jennifer Voorhees yeah. and um, Frankie <laughs> Kruger. Yeah. Not, why, yeah. could, why couldn't they Michelle just have Ward, a Michelle, um, mixed gender bunch of con artists doing their thing? I know. Like, yeah, or, or, yeah. Why does it have to fit into the Oceans franchise? Because it's not going to be Danny Ocean and... Presume like they said they're making different they're making them different characters. Mm. So I don't know where the oceans comes from, mm. unless he shows up at the beginning. It was like you guys be a group now and go. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of <laughs> I passed the baton. Yeah. So to clarify, we're not talking that females shouldn't be in these films. No, I give, give them their no own. Reason. Give them their, yeah. their own movie. Yeah, there's no yeah. reason. Uh, yeah, 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 I just think it just seems like they're it, wedging them into like yeah. we're like we need more women in movies let's give them a female version of this yeah. or a female version it's of that it's almost lazier kind of, doing yeah. that isn't it because it's, you just it doesn't it doesn't serve it's it because all of these are all of the women that attach themselves to these projects are great actresses just by going here's the guy version and here's the girl version of the same thing it sort of goes against the whole just like the whole idea of gender equality as well like you've got movies like um well, Rogue One and and Force Awakens have got female leads that are awesome characters. That yeah. I, I'm not thinking, oh, that's the girl version of something. They're yeah, just yeah, great yeah. characters. And same with going way back to films that I love with like Ripley and Aliens and Sigourney Weaver's character in that. Yeah. It's like we love quite, strong women. Quite happy <laughs> with that. And I think um, it's like you know, almost like what going and banking on that name of Ocean's Eleven just for the sake of it's something to do with this franchise that you know. Yeah. So go see it when it could just be a standalone great thing. Yeah, could just be. Anyway, a, you know. Because people love con artists <coughs> yeah, yeah. movies, so I don't understand what the attraction is. Mm. And Ocean's Ocho is fucking terrible. I wish th- I hope they don't call it that. What's it called? Wait, I well, Ocho called... is eight in Spanish. Oh, okay. so oh, right. Japanese, it's, isn't it? Is it uh, no, is it's, it? Oh, it's Spanish. 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 So yeah, that that was apparently the working title. Right. Why would it, why they just wouldn't call it Ocean's Eight? I don't know, but right. yeah, I mean it's fine. Ocean's Osho. Ocean's Osho. Ocho, yeah. Ocho. Jeez, that sounds that's, terrible. That's, yeah. All right. Well, let's leave it there for today. Jeez, leave it on that bad note. So if you want to check out more from us, head to soisitanygood.com. Um, and it is true, this man has no dick. <laughs>